This weekend, the Cincinnati Ballet wraps up its 50th anniversary season with performances at the Aronoff. From humble but very ambitious origins, the ballet has risen to national prominence without losing connection to its hometown. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst shows us why this community cultural icon is so Cincinnati. Born in an era of black and white, the Cincinnati Ballet has soared boldly into bright and dazzling color. For Cincinnati to have a ballet company of this caliber is huge. The ballet is wrapping up its 50th season, challenging the dancers and the people who watch them. I'm motivated by the drive to be the best that I can be. I'm motivated by that and also, you know, by the audience because they want to see something that moves their soul. An eight-year veteran of the company, Courtney Connor Jones, was sort of destined to do this. Well, I started dancing when I was three. Ballet is a young person's game, but for this company's 50 years, one person has been here 45. 45 years has gone by in a flash. Uh, when it was 25 years, it, it felt as if I, I had just started. Uh, 35 years, uh, there was a bobblehead that was produced to honor that. That seemed to go by in a hurry. Now we're at 45, it just continues to go and go, and I want it to go on as long as possible. It's a little harder for dancers to go on and on. There's only so much jumping and pounding a body can take. Shaping the foot through the acre take, quasi, coupe up. Now I know what you're thinking and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to stand on my toes and fall flat on my face. But if you wonder how ballet dancers can do it, and they're obviously very athletic, but they also have these special shoes which have flat fronts, which allows them to stand on their toes. After lots of practice. It takes years. You know, and it's not just developing the foot strength, but developing the whole leg strength to get yourself up on your toes so you can actually balance there as opposed to just kind of going up and falling off. There's another kind of balance here as well, balancing classical performance <laughs> with contemporary. <laughs> but either way, it's uplifting. I think sometimes you just need that perspective of saying, oh wow, look what's possible in life. You know, look what's, isn't it amazing that these bodies can do this? And isn't it amazing it means I can do something too. So I, I just feel that it, it gives our community a richness that it simply wouldn't have. And so Cincinnati for 50 years. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. I would have paid a lot of money to see Jeff put those shoes on and get up on his toes, wouldn't you? <laughs> anyway, the ballet performs tonight, tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night at the Aronoff to music from the local folk rock band Over the Rhine. And that's very appropriate because Over the Rhine is where the ballet's studios are located. And lots of credit should go to Victoria uh, Morgan, of course, for the, the high standards of excellent, excellence and Carmen My uh, Maestro, Maestro Carmen de Leon. Yeah. Love him. He does such a great job, doesn't he? He does, absolutely, as did Jeff in that piece. Yes. And did he have ballet slippers on? I, I mean, were there were, slippers I on? I think they were just his stinky socks, honestly. <laughs> <laughs>